The best way within Tensor to work with the DXF file you may receive from your customer is as follows. You can open this, for example, plate point DXF, and here's your geometry. As you, for Tensor to machine your product, you only need the geometry. You can select the geometry and copy this to the clipboard. Copy, close this file if you don't need any more information from the DXF and file new open new drawing and paste the geometry within the drawing so your geometry is floating somewhere and we now need to move the geometry to the right position where you want it to be for example if you select this geometry let's say you need this point on your zero point you can just by clicking your left mouse button move the geometry to the zero point and now you have uh, read in your DXF file and you can start dimensioning your geometry as you wish to for example this is 84 if you say well the dimension should be a little bit bigger you can move to attributes and change the default value of text and change this into 15 for example and if you would now dimension this you will get your dimension with a bigger font and right now you just imported your geometry from DXF and you can now save it as a tensor file and continue drawing or if you would like to generate NC code from this geometry. So try this yourself. You can do the same with an IGES file. You'll just work on the same way. You will open the IGES file. You will select a geometry you need, open a new drawing and paste this into an empty window and you can continue on programming or drawing or whatever you would like to do with this geometry.